Hey everybody, welcome to Insta Knowledge Series and in this video I will be talking about how you can give the cutting length of a column bar at the site. So at the uh, site you have to give to the worker, right? So typically, uh, so basically you have to explain to the worker that uh, you know you have to cut this much a length of bar and so that he can install that bar at the site, alright? Alright, so uh, this this is going to be a long video, so I'll divide this video into a number of parts. And in this particular uh, segment, we'll talk about how uh, we'll talk about the lapping of bars. Alright, lapping of bars. Uh, so where is the proper position for uh, the lapping of the bars and how we should lap them? Alright, so I have already talked about this topic over here and we know that why we need to lap the bars, right? So if we had a long bar, you know, of any size, just we could have taken the bar from footing up to the top of a building, right, without any problem and we wouldn't have needed to lap any bars, right? But we don't have that, so we have got only 12 meter of bar. So we need to lap two bars so, so that we can take the bars from uh, bottom from footing up to the top of the building, okay? All right, so uh, uh, let's make a slab. So this is a slab, right? And this is another slab. From one slab to another slab, we got an edge. So that is the height of this uh, floor. So basically, the height of the floor is considered up to this point, but we'll take only this of the height, all right? And here uh, is our column, okay? And uh, there it goes as well. <coughs> So you also have a beam at this position but uh, for now let us just take this lap alright and we take this height okay now uh, let us take uh, a segment that is at h by 4 from uh, this point right so this is h by 4 and again from here also h by 4 alright okay so in this region in these two regions uh, the moment is high alright so moment is high so if you see uh, you know if you have done any sap analysis or the ETF analysis of any building and if you see the uh, bending moment diagram so you will see that uh, the moment is high at uh, these positions and uh, the bending moment is lower at mid portion of any column right due to this reason so lapping of bars you cannot put here and here so you have to lap your bar within this portion only all right so within this h by 4 h by 4 now this is h by 2 that is mid h by 2 portion only so you have to lap your bars here and while lapping your bars so you have to you have to make sure that you lap only 50% of the bars at a, at a point all right so at one position you only lap 50% of the bars and you cannot lap any bar that has diameter greater than 36 mm okay and the lapping length that must be equal to LD that is the development length development length so this is basically around uh, 55 to 65 all right so if you want to know how your stirrups should be positioned in this uh, location and also in this location and how your stirrups should be positioned at uh, this lapping position so I have made another separate video uh, with the topic that is uh, ductility detailing of column ductility detailing of uh, column and uh, you must watch that video for that and uh, in this video I just wanted to give you the lapping position alright so this position uh, this basically comes from IS 39202 so you have to see this code for a detailed information alright okay alright so uh, this much for this video this video was helpful and in the next video we'll see what is below any tie beam alright okay thank you for watching take care